Hello! Before we proceed to our 10 fun facts, we at Filmbug would like to apologize to our viewers since we haven't been around for a while. What happened is our drive that contained all our channel assets was lost. I guess we could have taken our busted drive and get it recovered for hundreds of dollars, but we thought the channel is in desperate need of a facelift anyways. So rest in peace, external drive, and lesson learned to back off your stuff. Always. Okay, so without further ado, here are the 10 fun facts from the movie Dead Alive. <laughs> the first scene to be shot and the opening scene filmed on quote unquote Skull Island was filmed at Putangirua of Pinnacles. Putangirua Pinnacles. The same location he would later use for the Paths of the Dead in the film The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Number 9 Peter Jackson's favorite scene of the film. So the final scene of the movie was shot in the park with Lionel and the zombie baby Selwyn. The film was finished one week ahead of schedule and with 45,000 New Zealand dollars remaining, Jackson would use all of that to film the park scene over the course of two days. Jackson reused the song played on the organ as the mourners wait to enter the church prior to the embalming scene. The song was called Sodomy from his previous 1989 film Meet the Feebles. Number 7 Braindead was a box office bomb in the US. When it was released in New Zealand in 1992, Braindead did well in the theaters and received generally positive reviews. While some critics were turned off by the film's reliance on gore and blood, many hailed its humor, style, and unique pacing. In 1993, Brain Dead hit US theaters. The film never gained momentum it did in its home country, earning only a fraction of its budget in American cinemas. But the success of Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy, Dead Alive, experienced a revival in the US. Number 6 Brain Dead is renamed Dead Alive in the US. In the United States, the film was released as Dead Alive because of another film with rights to the practically identical title Brain Dead, which stars the two Bills, Bill Pullman and Bill Paxton. Also an added fun fact, the rated R version is only 85 minutes, with most of the gore scenes removed, while the unrated cut is 97 minutes with the gore scenes mostly intact. Number 5 Famed gorehound director Eli Roth, which you can remember from the movie Hostel or uh, Green Inferno, maybe, once said Brain Dead was one of, if not the only film that actually quenched his bloodlust. Number four. Peter Jackson paid homage to this film in his version of King Kong. During the scene in the boat, you can see a crate with the word Sumatran Rat Monkey clearly shown on the side. Number 3. Uncle Les is hit in the groin five separate times during the final act of the film. <laughs> Number 2. During the lawnmower scene, movie blood was pumped at five gallons per second. Number one. Brain Dead may be the bloodiest movie of all time. Let me clear something up here first before I begin. I'm talking about the amount of blood, fake blood, used in the entire movie, not just the scene. Dead Alive's practical effects include tons and tons of fake blood. Some horror buffs speculate it may be the bloodiest horror movie of all time. In Dead Alive, blood isn't just an accessory, it's the main character. For the film's final scene alone, Jackson used over 300 liters, or that's 79 gallons, of red goo. The movie claimed a total of 1,000 gallons used throughout the movie. So is it really the bloodiest movie? I did a little bit more digging and I found out that the 2013 Evil Dead remake, which is only second in this list, claims that it used a staggering 70,000 gallons of blood. 50,000 of those were used in the final scene with Mia's fight with the Abomination or the Deadite. 
But I've also found that they use corn syrup for the blood, so does that count then? Let us know down in the comments section if you think Dead Alive truly is the undisputed bloodiest film of all time. Or maybe Evil Dead Remake should have been number one. Or maybe you know another film that tops the two. That's it. But before we leave, we just wanted to express many, many thanks to our, all our subscribers. Yes, all 30 of you. Here at Filmbug, we appreciate each and every one of you. So until next time, goodbye. For those who thought earlier that Uncle Les only got kicked four times when I said vibe, well there's number five for you. <laughs>